So, I'm just finishing off uh, what I was saying there because I've only got 15 minutes. So, uh, so I'll just say my friend uh, is believes in Jesus but doesn't believe in the doctrine of hell, which is heretical, really. Um, and it seems as if this doctrine critique of the traditional view is seems to be getting stronger. So, I think what I'll do is I'll probably do a series here, and then I'll do a two three maybe four hour uh, study uh, on Royal Life Preachers where we'll go into the theology of it so if you are a Christian and uh, you're interested in sitting on uh, a Google Hangout and doing a Bible study with me on the doctrine of hell uh, let me know uh, you, you know we can I, I don't want anybody who of a different opinion I just want a few people who believe in the same as me in the traditional doctrine of hell you know uh, that it's eternal uh, we can debate about the specifics about the fire and all the rest of it but you have to li believe that it's eternal um, so if you've got similar views as me then if you want to join up with me and have a Bible study on uh, Lola Preachers in the next day or two, just let me know. Because um, it would be good if you come on and we can just talk about the doctrine. And look at the scriptures together. But, you know, but be on the same page. I don't want anybody with a different view. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people out there spouting the new ideas, the new views. There's hardly anyone actually teaching the traditional view, so I want the traditional view given more time and heard. We've heard other views. There's a lot of high-profile evangelicals out there who who got their opinions out, and um, so I want to make sure that the Christian traditional view, the biblical view, is given time. So if you feel you'd like to get in on that and join me on that uh, just let me know uh, so do it start doing a Bible study on it I'm going to be reading a book maybe tonight called um, Dr. Shed uh, the doctrine of hell you can get it PDF so have a read of that I'll have a read of it and have a read of have a look at what other people are saying annihilationist and stuff uh, Rob Bell and all them people and uh, let's get together and let's have a little Bible study and let's try and help people through this and, and get them to see the biblical doctrine of hell. Uh, and it'll be it'll be at least two hours study. We might do three hours, even four hours. So, you know, if someone could look at the history of the doctrine, someone look at the different arguments against the traditional doctrine. You know, let's, you know, someone do some research on the history of the doctrine someone do some research on uh, Rob Bell and some of these annihilationists uh, and I'll do the research on the biblical foundation and we can put it all together and do a really good uh, show where we can uh, defend the traditional view yeah uh, I think it's needed I think it's needed so if you're interested let me know as long as you can serve e well so long as you're evangelical you can be charismatic you can be reformed you can be Arminian I don't care so long as you're generally evangelical you believe the Bible you believe Jesus is God in the flesh you believe in heaven and hell you believe Jesus was punished for our sins you believe that he rose again uh, you believe in trusting in him by faith you're saved by faith you believe you have to walk in obedience to him you believe those basic things if, even if you're a charismatic if you are reformed if you are Arminian I don't care so long as you believe those basic things Let if you want to join me in a Bible study in the next day or two then you're welcome to join me yeah and that Jesus is God in the flesh um, and you believe in the Trinity yeah so if you believe those things then I would love to join up with you for a two or three hours 
where we can help people on the doctrine of hell. And people need help on this. Um, maybe you could be a catalyst to help. And maybe I could too, I don't know. So pray about it. And uh, let me know, make a comment under here and say, Jay, I'm up for coming on a Bible study with you uh, on Not Like Preachers yet. I think it'll be really good. Uh, and, if, and, if you, and if you're up for doing Bible studies on Google Hangouts with me, uh, let me know as well, because we can do some Bible studies together. Because um, I'm going to be teaching the Bible you know so if you want to either come in and learn from me or you want to come in and get some experience in teaching uh, come in with me and I can help you to to get some experience in Bible teaching uh, but if you are a Bible teacher yourself but you have to be a person who is teachable as well uh, I don't want people coming in causing trouble uh, trying to show that they're Bible teachers when they're not I just want people who are humble, gracious Christians who just want to learn about the Word of God and, and want to encourage each other and build each other up in the faith. Um, that's it really. A uh, special shout out today uh, to Matthew 14 and uh, Bible Thumping Wingnut. Uh, I hope you're okay guys. Uh, I, I saw the other day, Matthew, uh, you were getting a bit of stick on a Google Hangout, um, a Christian Google Hangout, saying that you'd said this and said that. I just want to say to you, mate, you're a lovely guy, um, and just don't get just don't get embroiled in those kind of things. I've done it for five years. You saw what a mess I got into. So don't you do that, mate. You you you're a good guy. Uh, you're a lovely guy. You got a lovely ministry. Uh, just be confident about what God has given you to do. Don't get embroiled in any of these controversies. They just muddy the waters. And the same with you, uh, Bible Thumping Wiener. You're a lovely guy too, so just keep up your good work. I know that I say things, uh, but I say it to keep you on your toes. But, uh, you know, I'm one with you in spirit. So, um, yeah, be encouraged, alright? Keep doing the good things that you're doing. Alright, that's me gonna go god bless everybody and uh, see you soon god bless